So I'd like to welcome now Terry Nakayagi. And uh, she's going to bring our pule. We're going to open up this amazing potluck that you've all brought forward. I also do want to just announce that we have vegan aloha serving nachos at the kitchen on our for sale. Um, so welcome, Terry, and thank you for opening our meal. Our I'm going to um, say a couple of things real quick to, to um, welcome everyone here. Na ao ma kua mai kala hiki a kala kau mai ka ho kusi a ka hala mai na ao ma kua ya ka ina kua ya ka ina ano ya ka a kau i kala ni o ki ha i kala ni o e i kala ni nu i nu i kala ni e ya na pula pula a o ko o Terry na pia i a me Democratic Party e malama a o ko ya ma ko e u nu i kala ni e u nu i ka ho nua e u nu i ka pai ai na o ha pai. Eho mai ka ike, eho mai ka ikaika, eho mai ka akamai, eho mai ka mao popokono, eho mai ka papa lua. We'd like to ask our Heavenly Father to bless us today, and we, we are grateful that we come together in power to make changes for our people, and to be able to work together and build bridges in love and relationship for our aina. We ask that thy blessings be with our may I and our food today in spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 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 And I am uh, from Keokaha, Hawaiian homelands in Hilo, Hawaii. If, you know, um, we were all this afternoon trying to get my PowerPoint photos prepared for you to see. I don't think you can see that. Can you? Oh, you can. Yes. Awesome. I want you to see it because it has a lot to do with what I'm going to be talking about today. Keokaha Action Network was a committee organized in our community because of a, a particular reasons. The health and safety of our people that have been neglected and, um, and forgotten. I say forgotten because they, we have... Can you look at the next slide? <laughs> we have identified seven major toxic facilities that emit pollution into the air, land, and ocean that are either on Hawaiian homelands or next to it. So, I was born and raised there as I have seen the degradation of our waters, of our land, and the air quality. So what we've done is met in our community so that we can identify what we can do to change this. So we've been meeting with our community, bringing awareness, finding documentation, finding data so that we can prove that there is a relationship between the toxins that are being emitted by these major facilities and the health and degradation of our people. So, Kyokoha Action Network was organized with the support of our Kyokoha Association so that we can identify strategies 
to deal with these issues. I live on Lyman Avenue. I was there for over 50 years. Uh, moved around a little bit. But my home is still there. My parents still live there. And I don't know if many of you know this, but in the 60s, <clears throat> a large group of our Hawaiian people had their lands condemned an eminent domain with executive order for them to be relocated to another part of Hilo so that they could build a runway. Several of the toxic facilities that are in our community are the DOT airport, which is only several steps away or yards away from my father's home. Within the years I've seen, and I suspect that there, we have a very high cancer morbidity rate in our community, and have seen on our street alone at least one member of each home pass away very young with cancer. No monitors to prove that this is true, to mitigate our families for the noise and the fumes that are very toxic from the airplane that goes 24-7 right in front of my father's home. In the 70s, we've had a sewage plant. <clears throat> I remember my grandmother standing out there with a sign saying she did not want this here. As a young girl, they put it there anyway. <clears throat> it's been there ever since. I've seen the depletion of our marine life, the destruction of our coral, and the health of our people compromised. We have had several and numerous accounts of our family swimming in our Hilo waters, especially Kilpaha and especially in front of Puli Bay, with staph and MRSA and leptospirosis. And every time we bring community to our government to our table, they always say that Puli Bay, where the outfall is, three quarters of a mile out of our, our busiest beach, where our families swim and fish the cleanest part of the entire ocean shoreline. I don't believe them. I'm here today to bring awareness. And so we have a, a, a next slide. The, some of the toxic facilities is Pelco, a company that burns the sludge of oil and fuel, the most contaminating toxicant that you can have in the air, that burns every night at 8 o'clock and it blows right into our community at the end of the day, at the end of the night. We also have the sewage plant that has been there. We're trying to shut it down. We have the county and we have the state officials coming to our community. Just a month ago, we had Mayor Kim come to our community with the Department of Health and the county to discuss the sewage in front of our home. We do not want it in front of our home anymore. Our families have carried the burden of the dis disproportionate burden of toxic toxins and toxic facilities for decades. We do not want them there anymore. And that's the reason why I'm here. I have a map here that shows the green. If you can't see it, we suspect that all these toxic facilities like Hilco over here in Kona and in Hilo are on Hawaiian homelands. All of these toxic facilities are concentrated very close to each other and no one's taking into consideration what it does cumulatively throughout the years and also cumulatively running together. And every facility says that EPA and their standards and their thresholds is what they meet. But I've found other, these <clears throat> little red dots are the facilities that are currently running non-compliant to EPA standards. How is this happening? How is this happening to our families? Why do we have to tell the government that you need better monitoring, you need to test for better bacteria, I mean for more bacteria in our waters? They're only testing for fecal matter, two bacteria in the whole entire ocean. Clostridium and Enterococci. We are asking that they test for more bacteria and they test for more chemicals because it's spilling into our community. Our people are getting sick and they need to do something about it. And that's the reason why I'm here. 
I'm here to let our legislators know that we're working with county, we are working with Department of Health, and they want to work with us to remedy, remedy the situation. We need an alternative to the sewage pipe that we have now in every part of this island. I have a picture, I have something on my, on my desk over a table that shows you all the outfalls. We do not want fecal matter into our ocean. Help us stop that. Help us support our families because there are better ways to deal with this, this issue. There are alternatives. In fact, someone brought me some alternatives. Thank you very much. Please <clears throat> take a look at what we have. If you have any questions, I'm here to ask, answer you because I have the answers. Thank you very much. Aloha. Aloha.